Hello, my name is Elizabeth O'Brien and I'm a clinical psychologist working within cardiology. Managing heart health can involve changing habits, for example, changing your diet, exercising and taking medication. We encourage people to make these changes because they lead to better health and quality of life. On one hand, it's a positive thing that we can significantly improve our health through relatively simple things. On the other hand though, it can be challenging to form and maintain these habits. With that in mind, here are some ideas that might help you build positive habits into your daily life. Take care of the basics first. Making changes is harder when we're tired, hungry or stressed. So getting enough sleep and generally taking care of ourselves is a good foundation to start from. Have clear goals. With vague goals like losing weight or eating healthily, it's difficult to know if or when they've been achieved. Goals are more likely to be met if they are specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and time limited. For example, the goal of losing 10 pounds within the next 12 weeks. Planning and being organized helps. For example, planning your food shop or scheduling an exercise means we are more likely to stick to those goals. Routine and ritual. If we do things at a similar time and place and in a similar way, routines and rituals can build. Maybe even write down a reminder to yourself. Reward. Rewarding good behavior is well known to help strengthen change. If you're reaching your goals, how might you mark this in a healthy, enjoyable way? Values and motivation. Why are you putting yourself through these changes in the first place? To feel as fit as possible, so you live to play with your grandchildren, whatever your motivations or values are, stay connected to what's important to you. It will help to keep you going and for new habits to develop. Perspective. It can feel overwhelming if we think about needing to maintain changes forever. Think about time in manageable chunks. For example, focus in on this week or month. Curiosity. We often focus on bad habits we want to stop, but rarely do we investigate them, often because we feel ashamed or embarrassed. What triggers you to say comfort eat or miss medication? Understanding why you do these things puts you in a far better position to see what triggers you to do them in the first place. So instead of willing yourself to stop doing something, set aside some time to review it instead. Compassion. Change inevitably involves ups and downs, false starts and lapses. Change is more likely to last if we are kind rather than punishing. How would you talk to a friend who was trying to make changes? You might feel alone with how you need to change your lifestyle, but there are thousands of others in a similar position. Social support. Who's on your team? Who might you buddy up with on walks or making changes in your diet? Human beings are social creatures and we benefit from being with others. Finally, ask for help. It's not unusual to be sad, stressed or anxious when managing long-term health change. If your mood is getting in the way of you enjoying life or managing your health, please talk to your medical team or GP. There is help available. Please do not suffer alone. I wish you all the best with any changes you're planning to make.